Hello there YouTube, welcome to uh, this tutorial. Hopefully this will be the last tutorial of uh, the series, if we have time. Um, so basically I'm just going to go through the actual uh, game part of it for you. Um, in this what we're going to do is we're going to declare two variables. We're going to declare int um, random number um, and then we'll set that equal to something now and then we're going to just take this uh, int uh, pot over here and we're going to set that to something now as well uh, basically they, they could be local because they shouldn't use um, well they don't need to use any how do you say it <laughs> they don't need to, they don't need to be global variables because they don't they're not being used in any other methods so basically what we're gonna set a uh, random number to is we're gonna cast it as an integer first of all because we're gonna be using uh, two things we're gonna be using the math.round method and within that we're going to be using the math.random uh, method and then times that by 5 plus 1 basically what I'm saying here is um, uh, math.random uh, method uh, creates a random number anywhere between 0 and 1 so it could be 0, 0.579923 whatever um, so what I want to do that is I want to take that number and I want to times it by 5 so it is um, a random number and then plus 1 to it so that if it does come out to 0 um, it's going to be at least 1 okay and then it's going to round it up to whatever it, it would be because it's going to be say say uh, it came up to be 5 um, in total the second number was 5 then it's going to times that by 5 and uh, that number is going to be 1 for example no the number is going to be 5 then it's going to add 1 and the total number is going to be 6 but it's going to be 6 comma something and then it's going to take that and um, round it up to say 6 or round it down for example and um, that is going to be the random number but now how we've done it is we've done it so that the random number maximum could be 6 Okay. then for the pot what we want to do is the same thing cast it as an integer math dot round and then within that we want to do the math dot random method what happened there math dot random um, and then I want to make that anywhere between um, well up to about 250 so times about 249 plus 1 so it does the same thing as the random number but it's just for the pot how much they could win then you want to print out um, the no let's not print anything out yet I'll show you now um, okay so what we want to do is we want to do an if statement um, an if else statement actually if else and within this if statement what we want to do is um, if the uh, bet option is equal to the random number random spell it right then we want to print out congrats you won and then plus the pot so whatever's in the pot they won then we want to set money equals money plus pot and then we want to start the game again so we're going to go start game okay um, except one thing I forgot here is in the pot method just plus bet money um, because this is going to create a random number uh, that could be in the pot from other players and then uh, or other gamblers for example and then this bet money here is how much they bet out of their own money so they're gonna get that back and whatever it is above that um, okay then it's gonna start a new game then what we want to do is um, if they lost um, if, well if they lost what we want to do here is we want to go do another if statement or if else statement and we want to say if money is equal to zero so uh, if their money is now zero we want to print out um, you have lost all your money 
try again another time okay and then that's all we want to do for there okay and then uh well in the else part here we want to get um another bet option so we want to restart the game basically so just call the bet option uh method like that okay so now we've actually made the game itself uh i just want to go and do the help uh quickly um basically the help we're just going to call um or we're just going to say follow the instructions and then we're going to call the money method so the game's going to start anyway okay um one thing i want to change now is here where i called start game i actually want to call start game 2 and i'll show you why now um here in the start game method what i want to do is um so basically i'm just going to copy the start game uh, method over here and I'm gonna paste it down over here and I uh, just rename the thing to start game 2 and here I want to type in um, you have brand plus money plus to gamble with and then I don't want to call the money class I want to get the um, if you look in the money class, whatever's in there, we want to call bet option. Okay, so bet option. Bet option. There we go. Call it. <laughs> um, okay. And then what we want to do from there is we also want to call the help to method. Um, basically because... If you look in the health help method, it's calling the money class as well. So what we want to do is create a new method. Um, create that help too. And then call the bet option part. Okay, so that's easy. Help two is done. And now what I want to do is um, above here, I just want to uh, change a little bit. From, take from the display. Uh, very simple. Just copy. Uh, just copy this part from uh, the for loop and the menu choice, and then paste that above um, the if statement over here. Uh, so that they have to put in um, the menu choice before they start the section again. And okay, they're not valued. It's going to call the start game. So we're going to have to change this to not valid too. Okay, just copy this not valid method. Okay, paste it there. Call not valid 2. And just call start game 2. So now we have everything running. Everything should be working. If we go ahead and run the program for the first time, we will see what happens. Okay, so it says please enter your name. My name is Josh. Um, I want to start the game. You have 500 rand to gamble with. Please state um, which side you would like to pick. Remember, um, there are only six sides to a dice. I want to pick the side number four. I'd like to bet 14 rand. Uh, you bet 14 rand on this game. And it's gone somewhere else. We've gone wrong somewhere. So wait. You bet 14 rand on this game. Okay. So <laughs> that is user bet. Um Okay. Oh I see what's happening here. It's basically uh looping through, we're just not seeing it. So under the game part here, um above here just print out the side revealed. Whatever, I don't care how you spell it. <laughs> the side revealed was, and then just add the random number variable over there. And then over here, under the else, type in, sorry, you lost um, uh, rand. Plus, and then um, put in their, their bet money. 
yeah, how much they bet. Uh, so you lost there, plus um, I want to go to a new line and say your money is now um, Rand plus money. So that should work now, hopefully. Let's run the program and see what happens. Please enter your name. My name is Josh. I want to start the game. You have 500 minutes to gamble with. Please pick a side. I want to pick the side three. How much would you like to bet? 14 bucks. And there it says uh, the side revealed was six. Sorry, you lost 14 rand. Uh, your money is now 486. Please state how much you would like to pick. I mean, sorry, please state which side you'd like to pick. I'd like to pick the side five. I'd like to bet the remainder of my money. So 486. Um, and then it says the side revealed was one. Sorry, you lost 486 rand. Well, where'd that go now? Um, there we go. It says, sorry, you've lost uh, 486 rand. Your money is now rand zero. You have lost all your money. Try again another time. And that is it for this uh, tutorial series. Thank you very much. Comment, rate, and subscribe. See you soon.